everybody welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to create color grading effects and a duotone effect with gradient maps in photoshop let's get into it all right so what you're going to want to do is open up your image in photoshop i actually got this one off unsplash i'll put the link to the image to download in the description as well as the link to unsplash you can look through your own photos for the sake of this video, I'm going to use a portrait like this because it's, it's uh, these kind of images are good for color grading as well as applying the duotone effect. Um, some other images work as well, like a landscape or maybe an architecture type image. So the first thing I want to show you is duotones. You go down here to the small circle and you click on gradient map. And so what a gradient map does, you can easily see right here, is it takes one value and makes it the darks in the image and then another value and, and applies it to the lights so this is just a basic black and white but if you were to do it with color like this you can see it applies it differently so for the sake of this video i'm going to actually get this orange and i'm going to edit it a little bit we're going to take out these other stops because we just want two colors so click there and then drag it down click here drag it down and then bring it over. So this is kind of a, a blue and an orange, but we want to make this one a little more violet. So I'm going to click in there, add some more purple to this. And let's see, let me go to the saturation or the black, bring it out a little bit, saturation up, and bring up the purple just a little bit more, something like that. So as you can see, it's already applying the two colors, the purple or violet colors go into the dark shadows in the image, and then the orange is going into the lights. And if you reverse it, it goes the other way around. But usually when you do it that way, it kind of applies this negative effect, like a negative film. And it's really cool, and it could be like a good stylistic effect if you want to use it for album art or something. But for the sake of this, we just want to apply it like this. And so what's cool about these duo tones is Sometimes you can see how they look with interfering a little bit with some of the values, but sometimes you want to have it peer. So you'll go here and you'll go black and white and that'll make the image black and white below. And that kind of takes out any of the colors that were in the existing image interfering with it. And so duo tones with gradient maps are like a really powerful design technique and you can try them with all the kinds of presets that come with the with adobe photoshop as well as you can download some gradient maps online and you can just mess around with them and so we can use the same color we're going to delete this black and white layer now to color grade images if you don't want them to look this stylized so how you would do that is you would actually click into the blending mode it depends on the kind of values in the image, but you can either use soft light, lighten, or screen. Uh, it's Sometimes it goes a case by case basis, but for now I'm gonna go with soft light. So you can see it's applying some of those values to the colors, but it's keeping the integrity of the image. And it's more just like a filter, a more glorified filter. And you can reverse this, see, and this is already giving you that softer dreamy effect. And what's good about these is you can mess with the opacity if you don't want the effect to be as harsh. So let's say we want to do just like 55% on here and give that this image kind of that cloudy effect, maybe somewhere around 35. And it gave it, it kind of lightened up the image, took a lot of the green out of here and made it look a lot more soft and more dreamy and like pop-like. And so this is a powerful tool as well. Um, the gradient maps are really good for both creating duo tones and for color grading. And you can go in here and, and edit the values just like you would with the other ones. If you want to bring more orange out and you can also add new stops by clicking in like that and then double clicking and maybe adding some kind of green in a yellow, whatever you want to do. All right, that's pretty much it for using gradient maps to create duo tone effects and color grading in Adobe Photoshop. If this video helped you at all or you enjoyed it, please subscribe. It helps me grow the channel. I'm going to be creating a lot more videos like this that are more beginner based and link them in a playlist. That way we can uh, um, link out to them when we're doing a bigger creative project videos or things like that. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a nice rest of your day. Peace.